it's Gianna Lum at Convincing Crypto, where we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news on crypto and blockchain technology. Together, we are building a crypto movement that fights for climate justice and economic empowerment. So my background is in climate science, and a bunch of you have been asking me, what are some of the more sustainable cryptos? So today I want to go over what is Algorand, also known as Algo. Oh, also, thanks to the folks on Reddit for giving me advice on the mic placement here. I am sitting on like a whole mountain of pillows today so that like I'm not all the way down and low on the mic. So if I like topple over or something here, uh, blame the folks on Reddit. Uh, anyways, today we're going to go over first, what is Algo? Then we're going to go over what is pure proof of stake. That's the mechanism that Algo uses. Then we're going to go over climate action with Algo and some of their sustainability initiatives. And lastly, I want to go over a comparison of Algo versus Cardano, since I know some of the Cardano community is here as well. All right, so what is Algo? Algo is a crypto that was launched in June 2019. Back in the day, June 2019, what were you doing like two summers ago, pre-pandemic, that like feels like another lifetime ago. But back then, Silvio McCauley, a computer science professor at MIT, uh, just started Algo. And right before that, he won the Turing Award in 2012. So he's not new to the crypto space. He's been in this for a while now. And the Turing Award is like the Nobel Prize for computing. And he was awarded for revolutionizing the science of cryptography. So what I really like about Algo is it's another one of those science-based cryptocurrencies. It's more secure um, and it's backed by really sound research. So we love the science here. Um, I also really like that Algo is designed to be energy efficient. From the get-go, it's been a proof of stake mechanism rather than proof of work. And when it was first created, it was designed so that it could solve the blockchain trilemma. Um, the blockchain trilemma is normally uh, blockchain technologies have to choose between two of the three, between being secure, sale, scalable, or decentralized. And Algo aims to solve all three of these. And another nice thing about Algo is that it's free from forks, not like we're in like a fork-free dining room and like you must eat with your hands only, but forking is when you're able to copy the code and replicate it. And uh, because Algo is free from forks, it gives artists the peace of mind if you use Algo for NFTs that their art will not be replicated and that um, it's going to be really secure and go up in value. So we're going to have a whole video on what NFTs are uh, later this week. And we'll also have a whole series on how artists can get into NFTs. But this is an up and coming uh, cryptocurrency that's more sustainable that can support NFTs on its blockchain network. Uh, another cool thing about Algo is that they're working on going from a system that can support 1,000 transactions per second to 46,000 transactions per second. In my last video, I, I talked a little bit about scalability and how Dogecoin is not scalable. Right now, Doge only runs at about like 10 transactions per second. And for any crypto to become like the world currency, if it, if it were to do that, you really have to increase your transactions per second. And I think that could be possible with a thing like Algo to scale up since their developers are working on 46,000 TPS. And as I said before, they're pure proof of stake. And I wanna talk about what pure proof of stake is since they're the very first of its kind to use this consensus mechanism to create the blockchain. So with pure proof of stake, every single validating node, uh, a node is like any computer or mobile device that can connect to the blockchain network. Every single one of them, they all know each other. And um, since every node is known to another, they all are able to agree to create a new block each time a new block is created on the block blockchain. So with pure proof of stake, there's no like leader of the nodes. 
they use a Byzantine consensus. So the influence of each user on the network is proportional to their stake in the network. So um, it's less centralized and not one node can take control and have a, have a greater amount of power than it should have. And another really cool thing about this pure proof of stake system is that anyone can build decentralized applications and anyone, if you're an artist, you can issue NFTs on Algo, but we'll go more into that in like a later video in our NFT series. And I also wanna go over here, um, climate action with Algo and how they want to support sustainable initiatives. So ever since Algo was created back in 2019, climate has been a priority of theirs. Algo is run by the Algorand Foundation. So they're a nonprofit organization that aims to grow a community that wants to use blockchain technology for different sustainability endeavors. So you can check their website right there. Um, those are some of the environmental projects on the Algorand blockchain currently. And in April of this year, April 22nd, 2021, Algo announced that their blockchain is fully carbon neutral. So carbon neutrality means that the amount of carbon emissions that you emit into the world um, is counteracted fully by the climate initi initiatives to um, like take out the carbon, like plant trees or build solar farms or um, some like carbon capture mechanisms. So what you bring in is equivalent to what you take out. And now that they're carbon neutral, Algo is actually pledging to become carbon negative. And they're doing that with a partnership with a Spanish fintech called Climate Trade. And with climate trade, they're implementing this sustainability oracle. And the point of the oracle is to notarize Algorand's carbon footprint on the blockchain. So carbon footprint is like the amount of carbon that you're putting out into the world. And they're having equivalent carbon credits called the Algorand standard asset. And these credits will be locked into a green treasury so that people can trace and um, verify that they are both emitting them and then they can offset those verified emissions um, with different sustainability initiatives. And I have a lot of opinions about offsets. Um, offsets are like a accounting mechanism so that say you're a coal fire plant and you want to pollute, you can pay someone else to uh, grow trees, you can pay someone else to build a solar farm, but like that money that you get, your profits from your polluting initiative can go into something that cleans up the environment. But my issue with that is uh, that doesn't really take into account environmental justice. It doesn't take into account the communities who live near that polluting factory. Um, just because you're planting trees in some other part of the world doesn't mean that you're cleaning up the air pollution, um, reducing the risks of cancer for the people who live surrounding that coal-fired plant. So it's not perfect. Um, in my opinion, offsets are not enough to make crypto or any company for that matter reach emission reduction goals but I think it's a good start that some cryptos like Algo are finding ways to uh, become carbon neutral and eventually carbon um, negative. And I think it's also good that Algo is already um, a proof of stake mechanism rather than proof of work, but I just don't see a world where proof of work coins like Bitcoin would fully be offset. I think that would be a lot of offsets and um, a lot of, there's a lot of building of um, carbon capture devices just to offset something that doesn't even need to be as energy intensive as it is. 
Um, I don't want to bore you with a bunch of climate reports, but in 2016, the European Commission reported that 85% of carbon offset projects likely did not reduce emissions at all. So um, they haven't really been that effective in the past, but I think with something like the partnership between climate trade and ALGO, you can verify that these projects are actually happening. You're not duplicating reports. Um, you're holding companies accountable for actually doing these sustainability projects. Um, but yeah, we need a mixture of both energy reduction, um, efficiency, and offsetting is kind of a band-aid right now but these solutions need to be permanent, they need to be transparent, they need to be scalable, and they really need to be time efficient so that we reach our emission reduction goals in time and we don't start seeing greater and greater impacts of climate change because we failed to meet them. All right, uh, so lastly, I just wanna go over a quick comparison of Cardano versus Algorand since some of you are interested in that. Um, Cardano is a little bit older than Algorand. They've been in the game a bit longer, but they're both um, they're both founded by great scientists. Charles Hoskinson of Cardano versus uh, Silvio McCauley of the Algorand Foundation. So um, they're really well-researched uh, scientific cryptos rather than memes or um, ones that are just created for the purpose of profit. There's, um, there's a mission behind these, these cryptos and they actually want to scale them up in a way that is um, scientifically possible and that will actually help a lot of people in the world. Um, both of them use a proof of stake consensus mechanism to build the blockchain. Uh, Cardano uses Alboros while Algorand is the first to use pure proof of stake, but those are both more energy efficient than something that's a proof of work mechanism like a Dogecoin. And both of these coins have multiple token listings like Binance, Coinbase Pro, KuCoin. Um, so that's not really an issue accessing them. And currently both of them operate at 1000 transactions per second. And that's really great for scalability and as, as I said before, Algo is working on a rate of 46,000 transactions per second by the end of 2021. So we'll see if that happens. That would be amazing if they did since um, that would allow it to really scale up and support more people who want to use this technology. Um, both of them are fully decentralized and both of them have a their own wallet. So that's kind of like putting your money into a bank, but getting a lot more interest in it. So if you put it in Yuri or Daedalus with um, Cardano, or if you put it in the Algorand wallet, you can integrate that with the Ledger Nano X. And um, the more you put into your wallet, the more return you get. Both of them have a pretty low latency. Latency is um, the downtime. So both of them have pretty good rates for that, pretty good connectivity. And uh, they both have really, really low transaction fees, like 0 0.0072 versus 0 0.00204. Like those are both really, really tiny and so small compared to something like Ethereum that has higher gas fees since it runs on, ga on gas. Uh, both of them have several partnerships in the works and um, the biggest difference though that I see with them is the languages that they use. Um, Algo I think is a lot more accessible because they use uh, wider known languages like JavaScript, Java, Python, and Go. Whereas Cardano uses Haskell or Solidity. So people, less people know those languages with Cardano. So they need to learn them for them to be able to have more people develop on it. Um, but both of them give really good staking rewards for holding your crypto in a stake pool with like those wallets. And I really see Cardano still being a game changer since they currently have about 250 full-time developers and researchers. But um, I think Algo is in competition with it. I think they're a valid competitor. 
And it's good to have healthy competition going on between these two cryptos so that they develop at a nice speed. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to seeing what they both do in the few months to come. And when they both start supporting NFTs um, on their blockchain system. So that's pretty much all for me today. Feel free to comment any questions you have about climate or blockchain technology. And please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And here at Convincing Crypto, we're building a crypto movement here. We want to support climate justice and economic empowerment. So if you want to be on our channel with us and talk about those topics with us, let us know. Uh, reach out. We'd love to grow this community and apply crypto to things that you really care about. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment below and let everyone know um, that there are sustainable options to crypto. Thanks everyone. See you next time.